guys so yeah man um so on this tutorial here yeah, this is a very unique tutorial because i'll be teaching you guys the theory behind music so i'm not i'm not teaching music theory per se not 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 that type of music no i'll be teaching you guys like general stuff that 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 as a producer should be standard you need to know by now kind of thing you know so i'll be teaching you guys instruments so i'll be teaching you guys what these instruments are called what are they classified in the different groups you know so in biology as a scientist in biology we've got kingdoms we've got you've got kingdoms and you've got species and you've got you know what are these things you've got all these different things that like you classify different things into you know different animals and all that just there into different into different categories basically so same in music instruments are, are categorized kind of thing like you've got your percussions you've got your keys you've got your pads you've got all of those things there you know so i always use these terms here in my in my videos when i'm talking about them when i'm talking about sounds but maybe you don't know that maybe somebody out there actually doesn't know that you know and uh the whole point of the of this youtube channel is that i want to take stuff that most 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 other channels take as general and 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 just like something that you should know by now and assume that you know i take all that information there and i just put it here and I try and give you guys all that information you know so that you know so that you understand the basics so that when you go and watch other videos and you want to learn something you know what they're talking about kind of thing so yeah so let's go on fl studio here open a new project <sighs> all right cool so let's start so first of all we're going to talk about percussions percussions are basically your straightforward it's your it's your it's your it's your drums man it's your it's your drums it's your bongos it's your djembe it's 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 basically those drums there those are regarded as percussions so i'll just open it a, a, a new document right here and call it instruments and this is basically yes just for you like if you know your instruments and you already know what instrument is called what instrument is called what and the names and stuff like that then you don't need this you know you don't need this just skip this and just go watch other videos that are educational too but this is for like those producers that are out there because i know i've got a lot of producers underground scene a lot of them have realized it's like people that are actually quite clueless when it comes to music they don't even know what a hi-hat is they don't know what this is they don't know that this time is called a hi-hat they don't know the difference between an open and a closed hi-hat and all those things there you know so i figured hey maybe before i jump into all this complex thing about f1 studio let me actually take them back a step and educate them on the different instruments so we're going to start off with percussions first of all percussions this is how you spell percussions right there so we talk about percussion so let me go i'm going to show you the different instruments that are guided as percussions they're already probably grouped into percussions but yeah this yeah those type of sounds there when you talk about percussions you talk about these sounds all these sounds here so let me just add this let me add a limiter to this because some sounds can be very loud so let me just take it on three it should be fine i want you guys to be able to hear the sounds properly so these so when you talk about such sounds those are the sounds you've got as percussion so when somebody says you know i love your percussions i love the percussions in this instrument here or i love this then they talk about these sounds here they talk about all these type of sounds here all of this that's what you regard as percussions right there you know so when somebody talks about that then you know from now on you know he's talking about bongos he's talking about djembe he's talking about drums he's talking about congos he's talking about basically all those type of instruments there you know i wish i could find a way of actually saying this particular instrument but there's no better way than to actually just let you guys hear what i'm talking about then you can identify them in your own tracks and say that no okay this sound there belongs in the percussion side and then we're gonna go on to your next of the sounds which are your okay i'll just do kicks i know everybody knows kicks but i'll just do kicks anyway so the next sound is kicks kicks are kicks are basically it's a kick there's nothing else it's a kick it's a it's a sound that virtually every instrument if i mean every track has you know every track has some way somehow it probably has that and that's just that's a standard for like music you know it's almost like it's a must-have kind of thing in some way somehow it's gonna have a kick and the kick is basically this 
it's a one two three four one two three four sound in the track in the house track that's a kick right there so you you can identify a kick just by ear it's a kick you can tell a kick from a snare and from a top and from a clap you can identify the different instruments here's a kick again different kicks all kicks differ they all have different frequencies they all have different ranges and all those things there so different producers have their own preference on whatnot you need to be able to select a proper kick when you when you're making a track as much as this is something that people just assume that you know what take any kick and put it in there and your track is gonna sound proper that's not the case some kicks don't sound proper with, with particular tracks like if you're working on monitors you'll be able to hear that you know what this kick here like the track is nice all the instruments are, are together but the kick is just not sitting in the kick is just not fitting in you know sometimes the kick just doesn't fit in and you need to find a kick that would fit into that particular track and make it sound the way you want it to be so that those are kicks there that's an example of a kick i've showed you guys kicks let's talk about hats now hats hats are broken down to two they're broken down to open and closed also called if I'm correct, I stand correct, but I'm pretty sure they are called. And the name for them is called hi hats. Maybe I don't know. Maybe 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 let me let me provide clarity. Here. Maybe I'm also wrong. Maybe hi hats is something else, and hats is just a general term, and then it's hi hats and whatever. I don't know. So I'm just gonna assume that hi hats and hats is the same thing. So fine. So it's it's either open or closed. So open and closed. The difference being open and close this feeling <laughs> okay that was, that was actually quite stupid you know um picture it like this picture it like this open is just open when something's open that means it's like it's open and it's continuous kind of thing it's like it can go on and a closed one is like it has a boundary it has a limit it cuts off quick kind of thing so that's the best way to remember it so let's go to something that you guys probably have so you can also relate when i do this so let's go here so that, that right there, that right there, you see this? These are all closed. You know how I know? Because they just cut off quick. Like they just cut off very quick. They just, it's like, there's no, it's like, now this is a close as well. That is an open hat. That's open because you can pick up. You, you can tell the difference between this one and this one you can tell it's closed it's closed it's cut it's got a cutoff point straight up there's no two ways about it so if you know your instruments like that then you can you know you know like which sound is which and you can be able to identify that and when people speak about open hats and closed hats and, and closed high hats and all those things they you know what to do and the reason why I'm actually doing this, let me explain this. The reason why I'm actually doing this, so we done with hats. And the reason why I'm actually doing this is cause as a producer, what's gonna happen is you're gonna, as the more you grow in production, you're gonna come across different producers. Like you're gonna get to know different people and they, they'll basically give you advice on your tracks, you know? And there's nothing worse than getting advice about your tracks and you don't even know what that advice is about or what it means. So imagine you, you give me a track and I listen to your track and I'll be like, okay, uh, I like your track. I think you should fix up your percussions and maybe try to work a bit on your, on your open hats. The, the closed ones are, are proper, they're fine. Just fix up the open high hats. Imagine that and you're just sitting there like, what the fuck is this guy on about? What the hell? What, 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 what is open high hats? What is that? I don't even know what that is. What are percussions, you know? And next thing you're just going to mess the whole track up because you don't even know what, what I'm talking about, you know? So you need to know... The different instruments so that when people when you send people your tracks and somebody listens to it and says go fix this up i feel like if you fix this your track will sound better you know exactly what to fix you get what i'm saying otherwise you're going to end up messing the whole track up because you think that's what you need to fix and sometimes they're not written like as i showed you with thing as i showed you with 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 the percussions they've got different names they've got djembe's they've got congos and all those different names they're not going to be like percussion there's not gonna be like in brackets percussion como percussion this there's, there's no there's there's none of that you need to know what this sound is yourself and then clap let's go to claps now claps are self-explanatory you know so claps are just claps like that's a clap you can pick up a clap anytime this is a clap 
you can tell the clap so i'm not going to even spend two minutes on that you know what a clap is you know how to clap so claps we're done with that let's go to crashes so i just see everything from here crashes are this so a crash is what you hear when when that when the when it when a drummer when you're listening to drums and stuff and somebody's playing drums it's always <laughs> type of instruments that's a crash right there that's all you need to know about crashes you hardly use them in your tracks probably use them when you're about to enter the break or whatever but you know like it's very rare unless you're doing dubstep or, 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 the, or, the, or something else then you can use them a lot but that's crashes right there that's a crash and they very obviously di there's different types of crashes and stuff so that's a crash right there and what else snares talk about snares now so we're going to snares now so i'm very quick i know because you know i'm trying to make this as short as possible snares these are snares snares can be a bit tricky because if you actually listen to it it's like it's almost like snares are snares are like how can i how can i how can i put them best describe them best they're like toms that just quickly cut off early so snares are like toms so you can hear that's a snare and this is a tom you can hear the tom you can see if you if you look at this let me do this for you guys let's stop it right there so this is a tom right you can see this is a tom and this is a snare these sounds basically look the same they almost on the same let me check they almost on the same you see they're just about the same volume kind of thing literally but the difference being the release look how long this one drags on after it hits and look how long this one cuts drags on it's very quick it's cut it cuts off any this one takes longer so that's a snare that's a tom you can hear there's a full of sound type of type of thing whereas this was a straight to the point ping, ping, ping. and you can pick up you can pick up that thing there and it has this one usually has less bass than this you can hear there's a bit of bass to this even if I was to put it and analyze it on a thing on a, on a parametric equalizer too you see the frequencies that there's more bass to this than this here you know so that's about it that's that's that those are just the general instruments that you need to know so we've spoken about percussions we've spoken about kicks hats slaps crash snares and as well as toms because those are toms they, these are toms these are toms those are toms that's what you call toms so perfect uh i assume that everybody knows what keys are you know i don't think i need to go over that but for the sake of the video course i repeat we're assuming that you're just an ignorant guy out there that doesn't know anything and you really want to be informed about music and you want to know from what are instruments all the way to making a track and mixing and mastering it of which we haven't gotten there yet but i'm learning myself but yeah let's i'm going to use this plugin here for keys in, in actual fact let me use a different one let me use let me use something that everybody has so i'm going to use fl keys fl keys will make it easier for you because it's fl keys so it's keys straight up there's no two stories about it there it is keys are keys so these are keys these are called keys these things here they call keys they call piano keys call them call them whatever you want to call them if you really want to improve your production you want to learn these things those are keys all of this these things here these are called keys that's what you call keys there's nothing more to it there's there's no better to explain it but in terms of production when you're talking production when i say when i say when i say you know i love the keys when i say i love the keys that means odds are you probably have an, a piano in your in your track so i'm talking about anything that has to do with the piano in there which is this that's what i'm talking about this is called the piano for those who don't know i'm pretty sure you mostly know but you know again we assume that you don't know anything this is called the piano so when i say i love the keys in your track that means i love the piano that means i love whatever instrument that requires you to use this thing here you get what i'm saying this thing here all of them obviously you require the use of this but i'm, I'm specifically talking about something that's almost like piano's kind of instrument so when you do th things like these and you do chords chords and stuff then that's what i'm saying when i'm saying i love your keys so when somebody says 
okay you know what? i think your track is off key your track the keys are off key a beat or off note or whatever that means go look at listen to your track listen to these keys that you did there and you can and and figure out what why they're off so like some are just straightforward off like like these keys here these two keys here you can just hear them that they just they don't click like that they just don't sit well together you know that you can just hear it so you know that's off key automatically whereas this sounds perfectly fine you hear the difference so yeah otherwise that's beyond the scope of this video here point being these are called keys and when somebody says fix up your keys they're usually referring to anything that's an instrument kind of like thing i mean anything that's like a piano kind of instrument so we've covered keys right there let's go on to the next one and then we're going to talk about pads so that's where pl our plugins come in pads are the interesting sounds pads are the ones that set the atmosphere of the track pads are the one that when you listen to a track you feel, you hear these sounds like you in some particular background kind of thing you know those are the pads those are the ones that create the environment they create the mood kind of thing of the track you know on top of the keys you know so they're very essential lately they're very essential in your track so you need pads pads let me go let me go to so they there we are we've got pads right here so let me see so this one doesn't really work let me see so there's a good example here's a good example for a pad you can just hear that this this sound here on its own just sets a mood like you just feel like you're in some Chinese garden kind of thing you know these are pads So when somebody talks about pads, they talk about such things as these, you know, these they differ, they they variable kind of thing. You've got pads like this. That a pad, that's a pad on its own. And there's a whole lot of different types of pads, but pads are just those sounds that you would add in the background of your track. Like decrease the volume a bit and just add it there so that it kind of brings all the sounds together, it combines very well with the keys and the strings. And brings all the sounds together and just makes them one and creates a mood and creates environment for the track. Those are pads. Perfect. So while we add that, so we've covered pads, right? Now let's go to strings since I already spoke about strings. Strings. Next up, we do strings. So strings are similar to pads, but they're just straightforward. As they say, strings. So they anything that's got strings. So this, this here. That's a string. All of these are strings basically so strings are those things that drag on it's like Nwah! kind of thing those are strings there's no better way to actually you know describe them I, I wish I could describe it to you but those are strings so to picture a string just picture maybe what is this picture like a violin kind of thing picture like a violin and somebody's holding it and they just slowly like you know playing it it's like Nwah! kind of thing those are strings if it has strings it's a string think of an instrument that has strings it's a string except for a guitar and a multiple other ones but it's probably a string most of the times it's gonna be a string you know so those are strings there but the whole point of this video is not to say I'm not here to teach you like so you can picture in your head which 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 instrument is this I'm just here to basically make you know the theory or make you know the names behind the sounds so sounds like these you know those, that those are strings and sounds like these are pads so I'm just here this whole video here is just to help you differentiate between a pad, a percussion, a string, a hi-hat, a close hi-hat, bass, kick all those things there that's what this video is for, is for you know I'm not here to show you physically what where you get your strings and how to get your strings that's that's all you need to figure that out later on as you produce you know so let's quickly make this let's let's make this quick so if that strings let's go to bass I, I'm actually not even gonna do bass because I think everybody knows bass 
since we're a child you know bass everybody knows that's so that's the number one thing in the track oh my word i love the bass of this track here yeah, that's it bass also sometimes referred to as bass line so that's just like bass bass line same thing there's no difference so don't get confused and be like ah what's a bass line now you know same story same everything nothing has changed different types of bases you've got a, you've got a guitar bass you got two bass you got all those are different bases that's all on you to so figure that out as time goes by so i won't even dwell on the bass you know and what bass looks like and how it works i won't even go on that so cool let me see guitars i know everybody knows guitars acoustics acoustics or acoustics or acoustics i don't know how you pronounce it but acoustics is basically like guitar instruments that's all you need to know so when somebody says fix up your acoustics i'm gonna call it acs from now on somebody says fix up your which i'll call they just talk about anything that that means that somewhere in your track you have a guitar instrument of some sort that's what they mean so usually guitars it's basically guitars you know but it can be anything else you know so but it's usually guitars and that's just about it so that's what they talk about when they say fix up the acoustics and stuff that's it right there now uh, what else organs organs same as piano kind of thing just the different instruments that's it right there it's those churchy type of instruments you know in movies in movies when you're gonna have like this hectic scene somewhere in church you always get like this hectic um organ playing in the background something along the lines of actually no when it's like a funeral or something like that Or whatever you know but you, you, you you're familiar with that sound there that is called an organ so when somebody says go fix up your organ or go fix up this there's something wrong with it you know which sound to fix from now on so you can't say you don't know which sound to fix and that's i think that's just covers everything and brass brass are these type of instruments yeah brass i'd say it's probably like it's those so it's those kind of instruments that you blow so it's like your it's almost like your your trumpets combined all these other different things but it's basically your trumpets and all those other different instruments like that that you blow that you push it into it, and they make a sound that's a brass instrument so as you can see but they can change there can be other sounds to it and all that stuff there but that's just overall that's about it and obviously you got saxophones that you should know standard you've got your woodwinds that would be flutes and stuff anything that you blow air into similar to brass but just like i don't know can't differentiate between the two but you'll find that uh what else sense yeah since since are those since are the very nice sounds you hardly use sense in in in, in house unless you're making some electric like track but a synth is any sound that's like this You know those sounds that you just don't know what type of instrument they are but you, you like them and you feel them and they make the track very nice those are probably synths it's these sounds here so when somebody says go fix up your synths you know which sounds to fix is that it's it's probably very likely it's gonna be the main key sound in the track so that's the sound you probably wanna go and fix up and I think that just about covers everything you know if I if there's anything I didn't cover then I'm sorry but yeah i think i just covered up everything there is shakers yeah i forgot shakers 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 are like hats just different shakers would be like this here that's a shaker a shaker is that instrument that you carry you know when in caribbean like caribbean parties and, and all those beach parties and stuff they have this this like this like round thing that's got a handle and it's got like all these like small things inside i would say i call them beads like inside and they just like shaking it around like check, 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 check. this would be it and they differ there's other shakers which sound more like this now uh, let me see if i can quickly find this for you guys i've used up so much time already 
Shakers also are like this. They differ. But yeah, that's a shaker end of the day. And yeah, you know, that's about it. That's that's about it in terms of learning instruments and stuff. So I think I think I pretty I did a very good job. I covered most instruments. Vocals, if you don't know what vocals are then I think you should just like stop production right now and just like just rather rather listen to music instead instead of making your own because if you don't know what vocals are then I literally have no I have I have I have no words for you. I don't even know what to say to you right now, you know. But yeah, <laughs> right, yeah no, just bring your leg guys. I'm pretty sure you guys know your stuff. But that was yeah, man, I, I, I hopefully I covered everything for you guys. Hopefully you guys are happy with this. You know, if you didn't know the instruments and you know what instrument is you can just download this video and watch it over and over again and now you know what each instrument is and now you know that when you when you send me a sample and i say go fix this up you know what to fix up kind of thing so i hope that covers everything for you guys hope you guys are happy like subscribe comment facebook twitter follow on soundcloud follow me everywhere you, where you find me and yeah man check out the check out the facebook channel as well it's very helpful a lot of a lot of people are there and that's why i handle most of the stuff i mean the facebook page that's why I handle most of the business stuff, you know. That's why I, help, I do a lot of projects there with people. So just check that out as well. I was there. Yeah, like, subscribe, comment, Facebook, Twitter, follow, SoundCloud, all that just there. Shut my feet.